Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's your boy Beaky and I'm smiling today because we have to talk about why my sister has just made me a happy gamer. Well, she just came over to the house and she was talking to some family in the living room playing Days Gone. And I'm like, well, she didn't stop to see if I was here, but she's out there talking away. And she starts mentioning that she wants to get a PlayStation and she wants to start playing these games. She's seen her son play games. She's got her kids have playing the Switch. And she's just like, you know, finally she's seen me play. Now my sister, why this is important, my sister is in her 40s. My sister's a lot older than me. Yeah, my sister's way older than I am. And she, well, came over and she, I guess she sees us playing games. She sees her kids at our house playing games. I bought them a uh, NES Classic, not the Super NES, the NES Classic. I bought them one about a month and a half ago. And I was like, yep, here you go, NES Classic. I don't know, something you hook up for the kids and they could play it on their free time. So they have that. Also, and Nintendo, why is that controller so short? Why is the NES Classic controller so short? Okay, besides that, they got the NES Classic and you know, they've been playing games and now she's seen the greatness. She's seen us playing, but she said something very key that really got my attention. She said, I don't know how to use a controller. I don't know what games to play. And they asked her what kind of games you want to play. She said, well, I want something easy. The controllers are the hard part. And that's, got, that's very true. Teaching somebody who's an adult to play a video game, it always comes down to the controllers. And then it clicked into my mind after she left. So I actually didn't go out there and say hi. I could see my sister anytime. Like, you know, I didn't say hi or anything. She didn't, she didn't come over to talk to me anyways. So it's, it's not a negative thing. I just didn't go out there because I was doing other stuff. I remember that I have a PS3 that I am not using. It gets a yellow light of death occasionally. It'll overheat, get the yellow light of death, and then go back, start working. And I haven't used this in a while for myself or anything. I do have some games downloaded on it because I have my profile still there, and I could fix it. So I could fix this and give this her to play. Now the biggest question though, what game do I get somebody who's never played games before and I think a PS3 is definitely a better idea she was thinking about getting a PS4 where she was talking about it herself but I'm like having her jump into the PS4 with downloading games downloading updates and all that other crap is gonna be really complicated I feel like a PS3 would be really good that middle spot where it's not the PS2 games are gonna look still decent enough and I probably could find a lot of titles for somebody who just wants to get into games for the first time later in their life and learn the games but I'm trying to have a hard time thinking of what PS3 games can she actually try to play. And that's what I'm here to, here to ask you guys. What would be a great game on the PS3 to introduce somebody to gaming with? Like, what, sh what would you use? What games would you get her? Like, puzzle games, Tetris? I, I really don't know. How would I get her used to the controller so she eventually could play the games like Days Gone and play the games like, you know, Last of Us, which I could get her on this. I think I have Last of Us still downloading on this. Um, as long as the hard drive holds up through the reflowing process of fixing the, the CPU socket getting back in place. Yeah, I know how the yellow lights work and all that shit, but that's not the point of this video. I just want to know, what games would you guys go ahead and get a brand new gamer girl that's going to be my sister in her 40s? This is like such a big surprise and I'm going to fix this up and I have to get a controller and I have to think about games. Yeah, just, just a happy video. Just, yeah. It's cool when we get our family into a hobby that we like so much and I can save her money by just fixing up this PS3 instead of her go buying a brand new PS4, which I guess Sony wouldn't like, but maybe Sony will like it because she'll buy a PS5 because then that will be backwards compatible with the PS4 so she doesn't need to buy a PS4 right now because I'm going to give her a 3. <laughs> Till next time, like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. My Amazon affiliate link for the stuff is in the description. Later.